The eyes of Texas were on Deng Xiaoping today as the Chinese vice premier continued his tour of this country. His two-day schedule in Texas is certainly varied. A visit to the Space Center, a rodeo and barbecue tonight, an inspection of oil drilling equipment tomorrow. Despite some coolness and one hostile demonstration, he seems to be having a grand time. Here's a report from Jim Laurie. In Houston, Mayor Jim McCon gave Dung a box containing a set of Texas silver spurs. But Dung was denied the traditional key to the city, for Dung's visit here was controversial. About 400 noisy demonstrators were on hand at Dung's hotel. Houston, once named the sister city of Taipei, Taiwan, was not quite prepared to give the red Chinese leader a real red carpet treatment. But at NASA's Johnson Space Center, the Chinese vice premier was denied nothing. He climbed aboard the lunar rover, a model of the moon buggy the astronauts used to explore the lunar surface. These are some lasting impressions the Chinese will take away. Deng Xiaoping's aides say his most moving experience was here, when the National Children's Choir went to the trouble of learning Chinese to sing that old favorite, We Love Tiananmen Square. Others didn't do so well. Across the country, his name was pronounced Ding, Dong, Dung, or even Ping. And one man struggled to get his title right. I welcome you, Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Prime Minister. Vice Premier, to the United States of America. As for Dung, he said he enjoyed American food, but found it unique that Americans ate veal at every meal. At four banquets in a row, that's just what Dung was served. We learned some new things about Dung. He likes astronauts, cowboys, and basketball, and has two grandchildren who asked Grandpa to bring home gifts. He needn't have worried. Dung was given a pewter owl, a moon picture, some Texas spurs, and not one, but two $10,000 bulls. Indeed, at the rodeo, the Chinese came alive. All wore cowboy hats and drank beer, and Lee Sun Sung of the Chinese news agency summed it up. We have uh, good relaxation, good barbecue, good country music, and a good rodeo show. <laughs> So the Chinese leave today with their memories and perhaps a new image for communist China's leading man. For Deng Xiaoping not only went west, but went western. Jim Laurie, ABC News.